Up to you. And it looks like Diane just joined us here. I'll let her in. Okay, perfect. Hey, Diane. Uh, this is Alex with Merge Live. Can you hear me? Uh, so can you, uh, yes, I yep. can hear you. Yes. Oh, okay, great. And if you could activate your video, there we go. We see you. There she cool. is. And I will pass it off to you. Thank you. Diane, this is technically your meeting. Okay. Vice chair. So. Oh, so, well, you're not, this isn't your last meeting? No, I'm now, a li now I'm liaison. So. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll have to pull the agenda up. Uh, I have that here somewhere. Here it is. Okay, so is Sherry here? She is. Oh, hi, Sherry. Um, okay, so call to order. So let's take a moment and say the Pledge of Allegiance. So I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under God, God. God. indivisible, with liberty and, and justice for all. all. Long may she wave. Yes. Okay, roll call. Long break. Here. Germini. Here. Miller. Here. Jericho. Here. Brekovich. Here. Ingram. Here. Clark. Clark is not here. He was invited. Well, yeah. Three separate uh, times. Uh, well, no, I know. Uh, I know. Um, Paige emailed him too, and everything. So. Okay. Um, okay. I can't see anybody. Can you see me? Yep. Yes. First. Yes. Okay. I have no idea where you went, but let me find you. Oh, there you are. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. So. Um, do we want to approve of the agenda? Are there any additions that we need to add? I probably would like to add something to this. I, I do have something to add. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, 9A, the recreation plan. Okay. Uh, instead of saying approve recreation plan for the 30 day review, we did that last meeting. Okay. It should read um, approve the recreation plan to uh, recommend adoption. Uh, we'll be recommending adoption to council. For it. So when we get to it, I can, I got the whole write up. Okay. Um, do we need to add in here um, Mark's resignation to the board approval for that? No, it's there. It's, it's under, here. Where yeah. is it? It's under a, it's under new business. A. Where is it? It is. I would have been better prepared if I known I was going to be doing this. <laughs> sorry. Can we? Um, can okay, we? There you are. okay, I wanted to make sure that. And then also, I wanted to add in there um, to instead of D appointing a vice chair, I would like to make a nomination for someone else to be chair because I do not have the time to be in the position. So I would like to add that or modify that because I would still stay as vice chair, but nominate Julia um, to be chair. I mean, we can just, once we get to it, we can. Okay, so we don't need to change out. it. So we don't need to add so. to that or modify it. Okay. All right, can we get an approval of the minutes? Can I just make one please and thank you? Yeah. It says that um, under A, it says concerned with pickleball going too late in the evening. It's in the morning that they're there at six. Oh, that's under the, are you talking about the minutes, not the agenda? Yeah, under the minutes. She said, we oh. just, yeah. Well, we got to approve I'm the sorry. agenda first and then we'll approve. Okay, I'm sorry. Forgive me. 
Oh, and then I'm sorry, we should probably also make sure we release funds for uh, our December events, the decoration contest and the Snacks with Santa. Yes. Uh, ENF so, under uh, working business. Add yeah, I would recommend we add those. So add, so that would be J and K? E and F. They're already, because their, their agenda items are already are there, but we just need to add sub items. Oh, okay. So okay. snacks, so Christmas decoration contest um, and authorization to release funds and also authorization to release funds with snacks with Santa. Correct. Okay. And I don't know, why does it say alternative? Is that just because we're oh, not doing snacks yeah. with Santa? Okay. Yeah, I put that there when I was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we've got that. Um, yeah, that's everything that I had to. Yeah, to I think anybody else have anything for that? The approval of the agenda? No? Okay, let's move along to the approval of the minutes. We've got a motion. We've got to do a roll call for all votes on virtual meetings. Okay, let's do roll call. I'll make the motion to approve. I'll second it. Okay. All in favor then? Aye. Oh. We're roll call. Um, uh, with the Zoom, it's kind of hard to see uh, who's talking all the time. So with whoever is sharing, if you can just say, uh, just repeat who was the motion and the second, that, that way we don't get anything wrong. Okay. So who made the motion, Mark? Yep. Mark made the motion and Julia seconded it. No, Lori did. did. Lori did. Lori seconded it. Okay. So roll call. And was that the was that the agenda or the meeting minutes? Meeting minutes. Agenda. Agenda. Or agenda. Okay. Which one was it? Agenda or meeting minutes? Agenda. agenda. Okay. All right. So roll call vote. Long break. Yes. Jeremini. Yes. Miller? Yes. Carico? Yes. Breakovich? Yes. Okay. You didn't, you didn't call on Ingram. Um, but yeah, Ingram. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we can move to the approval of the minutes. So do we have a motion to approve the minutes? May I make that one change to that it doesn't matter how late they go because people are pretty much up late at night, but it says concerned with pickleball going too late. It's starting too early in the morning. It's starting at six in the morning is what the. Oh, yeah, that's what you were saying in the meeting. Yeah, right? okay. It, that's what I'm concerned with, not for the lateness. So motion to approve the minutes with the added change about pickleball. About the concern in the AM and at the PM? Yes, please. I'll second it. So who made the who made the motion? Lori. Lori. Lori and second by Kathy. Kathy. Okay, roll call. Long break. Yes. Giermini. Yes. Miller. Yes. Jericho. Yes. Breakovich. Yes. Ingram. Yes. Okay, minutes are approved. Uh, chairperson's report and communications to the board. So I would have nothing unless Mark, you have anything you would like to add. No, I mean, that's nothing. I mean, I'll have the uh, liaison report and stuff. I can do it there. Right. Okay, do we have any public call to the public? No? Just us. Okay, new business. Okay, resignation of Mark. Well, really? <laughs> Mark, congratulations. I am so excited for you. Thank you. I think we all are. So, yay. Yeah, I, was, I was out of Parks and Rec for about four days. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Then I got reappointed. Sorry that I've been, I was named liaison. So, <laughs> you did a good job, Mark. Thank you. You're still going to be doing great. Thank you, guys. So when is your first meeting? Because it was canceled. Had that meeting on Monday. 
last Monday, and that's where the appointments were made, like mm -hmm. from, especially to be did, liaison. So. Does everybody know he got the four-year appointment, not the two? He got more voice. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. I, Julie was going to bring some uh, cocktails to celebrate. Uh, well, we got worn but, out. <laughs> but yeah, that didn't happen. So. No, we'll have to do it after one of these days. I was going to bring treats and, and some lemon drops for everybody and we could celebrate Mark and his new and but it got kiboshed. It's always good to talk yeah. about drinking during a board meeting. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, the two really kind of don't go that's together. That's how we get more board members. That's we right. Have. Yes, we got to make this look fun. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon drops after every. I think technically you guys have to accept my resignation. So uh, who wants to make a motion to accept Mark's resignation? I, I make a motion to accept Mark's resignation reluctantly. <laughs> did that fast. Kathy, make the motion. Second. I'll second. Ingram. Ingram, second it. Okay, roll call. Long break. Yeah. Germini. Yes. <laughs> Miller. Yes, but with regrets, but he's going to do great. Carico. Yes. Frankovich. Yes. Ingram. Yes. Okay. Motion carries. Oh, darn. I should have said no because that's what Mark wanted all along. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mark, you officially resigned as chair. So, okay, now we have board appointments. So we have uh, two three-year terms expiring at the end of the year. So that's Molly and Julia. So do we need to make a motion to extend their appointments? Assuming they want to continue. I do, I do. I do too. Okay. Great. Yay! All right, good. We can't afford to lose anybody else. <laughs> no. All right, I'll make the motion to extend both Julia Miller and Molly Ingram's three years on the park and rec. I'll second. That was the third. I saw that. Oh, who, I is, who seconded? I didn't see anybody. Lori. Oh. Lori seconded. Okay. So, roll call. Long break? Yes. Germini? Yes. Miller? Yes. Perico? Yes. Frankovich? Yes. Ingram? Yes. Okay, motion carries for that. Now we go to Miss Julia. <laughs> Okay, so who makes a motion to extend Julia's three-year term? No, we just did both of them at once. Oh, we did? Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, okay, that's cool. All right. Um, okay, so appoint a chair. So that would be good. Chairperson will also be a member of the Park Capital Approval Committee. And so I would like to nominate Julia Miller for that. And Julia, would you accept that? If you guys will have me. Well, let's take a vote and find out. Who would like to make a motion to approve that? I will, that we approve Julia to be chairman for the Parks and Rec. Yes. And second? I'll second. Okay, roll call. Who was the second on that? Lori. <laughs> All uh, right, roll call long break. Yes. Jeremini. Yes. Miller. Yes. Kiriko. Yes. Brekovich. Yes. Ingram. Yes. Okay, motion carries. Thank you, Julia. <laughs> well, you're welcome, thank you. <laughs> Um, okay, so then the, the vice chair, so I will stay on with vice, vice chair if everybody is cool with that. Yes. Okay, so who wants to make a motion for that? Motion to keep Diane as vice chair. 
Yes. Second, Ingram. Roll call vote. Roll call vote. Long break. Yes. Kiermini. Yes. Miller. Yes. Kerko. Yes. Brickovich. Yes. Ingram. Yes. Okay, motion carries for that. All right, moving along to the December meeting. We usually always cancel our meeting in December. Um, let's have a motion for that. Motion to cancel our, de cancel our December meeting. Yes. Eric Hall, I'll second it. Roll call. Lawn break. Yes. Jeremini. Yes. Miller. Yes. Carico. Yes. Rickovich. Yes. Ingram. Yes. Okay, motion carries. Now let's put our gloves on here for the working business. Uh, our recreation plan. Uh, so this mark, we wanted to change that to. Uh, a resolution to recommend adoption of the Village of Wolverine Lake 2021 to 2025 Parks and Recreation Master Plan and uh, recommend that to council that they do. Okay. So. Okay. I have the whole giant write up if anybody would like me to read it. Um, it has a lot of the words whereas in it. Oh, uh, so no, I, what are those? I mean, it's, um, I don't really want to read it, yeah. but <laughs> does anybody else want to? Can you? Is that published on our website? Do you know? It will be. That resolution, this pre write up will be in the uh, minutes, will be included. Uh, in the, the mission to council, like conduct has it, and so. And do you have it electronically where you can I send do. it out? I could. Does everybody? I mean, I'd like to read it in my spare time. How about anybody else? Me too. I think we all should just to be on top of it. Yeah. yeah. Essentially, what it just says is it just says that we followed the procedures and parameters required. Um, that we we've taken up a plan that we gave the people in the village the opportunity to provide input through both the survey and a public hearing, which is gonna be the next council meeting, uh, and that we reviewed it, uh, and that we did deem that it meets our needs for the community. And then, uh, yeah, it followed all the procedures and that uh, mm -hmm. it'd be, it be ad, uh, adopted by council at the December 9th meeting. Okay. So, but I can send that out. Okay. So um, kind of skipping, well, we'll get to that. So, okay. Thank you, Mark. Um, Veterans Memorial. So no, we, need, we do need to pass a resolution, like vote oh. as a, to recommend to council that they oh, adopt okay. the Village of Wolverine Lake Parks and Rec Master Plan. Okay, so who would like to um, make a motion for that? I will, Jeremini. Okay, second. Me, Julie Miller. Okay, roll call. Long break. Yes. Jeremini. Yes. Miller. Yes. Kerko. Yes. Breakovich. Yes. Ingram. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, motion carries. That'll be at December 9th. And so that'll get the ball rolling then, right, Mark? That'll be once it goes to council and assuming that the December 9th meeting, everything goes to plan at that point, uh, Chris from Carlisle Waterman will uh, accumulate all the documents, the meeting minutes and everything else uh, and get those all together, put those in the master plan and uh, have it submitted by the deadline, which is in February. So we right. are on track and on schedule. Great, that's awesome. That'll help us, that will hopefully help us to pursue grants. This is you know, why we have it. And yeah, great, 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 great. Uh, Veterans Memorial Subcommittee, do we have anything from Kelly? Uh, she's not here, but uh, 
the Memorial's in, like most people have probably seen it. Uh, the mulch got put in this weekend. So that's a good, uh, it's been graded around it. Jeff Miller did that for us. And uh, uh, so there'll be hydro seed put down and everything else, but um, yeah, it's looking great. And uh, bricks, new brick orders are coming in and uh, yeah, everything's working out really well. Isn't it beautiful? I just love it. I'm so proud of that. Oh, no, it's gorgeous. I recommend I, if you haven't seen it at night, it's pretty cool to see it. Oh, it the, is. The, it's, the lights it's really do a great. Very cool. So we have more requests for bricks coming in since the. Yeah, we've had, we're probably over 10 bricks now, new orders. So awesome. Once, once the, we will probably do the next installation of bricks in the spring um, to uh, before we do our official ribbon cutting and everything else. So we'll do another deadline and everything like we did this time. And uh, we'll see how far we get with those new orders and stuff. That's really nice the way you guys did those bricks too. Ron was saying that the instead of the, it being engraved and then painting it, the, it's in there as it's engraving, so it cannot wash out. It's burned in, essentially. Yeah, that yeah. was a good idea. It's a really neat, it's a newer technology uh, th that they offer. And it's, it's, it's so it's a very, um, they, they expect it to be the one that will eventually replace most of the uh, engraving style mm -hmm. that we, we know. So yeah, he, he did a lot of research on it to make sure that was the way to go. Well, good job, everybody. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, we have, uh, thank you, Mark. Um, we have the beautification subcommittee, Miss Julia. Would you like you to update us on that? Yeah, did you guys get my email with everything? Yes, yes I did. Or the okay, I sent all the bills. Um, we have 2,000, uh, whatever, okay. I only spent, well, it was under 1,200 for everything. The, the edging, the soil, the mulch, there's still mulch over to Menia. Um, but that's going to come to the village because that's going to go around the sign right there as you enter in where the pumpkins are. Um, and that's going to spread back in there. But um, come spring, all the flowers and all the plants and the berm will come out if that's what everyone wants and put back in the planters, plus get some new plants. Um, so any ideas anybody has for how what you would like to see? Amenia has two side Gardens plus their sign. I hope that was okay, Molly. Um, I think it was okay. Good. Yeah. Thank but I've enjoyed doing it. It's been awesome. Mark, thank you very much. Kathy, thank you very much. Everybody, thank you for allowing me to do that. It really makes makes me happy to go by the signs. Oh, they look great. They look so clean. Mm -hmm. Oh, they do. They look really nice. Thank you. What a big improvement for the village. I mean, the, the Memorial Park with our new signage oh, and yes. Miller and our new Wolverine Lake signs. It really new makes council. a difference. New We're council. going to say 21. Yes. <laughs> That'll be our year. Get through the 2020. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks, Julia. Thank um, you, guys. Lori. Give us a, a rundown on our Halloween contest. We actually had some people coming in at the last minute, so that was Yeah, cool. we voted, and then the very next day, Paige sent me uh, three new entrants. Oh, my gosh. Because <laughs> the deadline was the day of our meeting, and then she said, I totally forgot to send them to you. <gasps> so we included them. That's why we had to go and revote everything again. <laughs> oh, Wow. So that, that all went well. The only problem was we, we didn't get, um, we have to somehow for the Christmas one, Christmas one come up with uh, authorization, letting the village be able to print the names of the winners or the street ad address of the winners. We didn't have that for the holiday contest. Because mm. uh, I thought that's what we were originally going to do so that they're when the spina column called and said, well, who are your winners? We couldn't give them to them last Christmas because they had oh. So will Paige take care, will they take care of that in the office when they submit for their entry or? 
Or is that something uh, we have to tomorrow when I do the Christmas one or have them start doing that? When I asked about the Halloween one, they said, I quote, ask Mark to make one. Well, <laughs> seriously? Because he's the president. I was supposed to make one? <laughs> I don't exactly have a lot of grief. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, I'll have to ask them. Someone, because I'm like, oh, we're not. We can't legally write something up and have people. I, I didn't think as Park and Rec. I thought I had come. Yeah, to I would think the attorney would have to draft something. Yeah. Okay. Like that. I don't know. Who said that, Paige? I, I think it was Paige. It's either Paige or Tabitha. I don't know. Okay. Well, so we're going to have to do something like that for the decorating contest for the Christmas, right. correct? Okay. So I'll, uh, I'll find out a little more information about that. I would imagine that's a pretty boilerplate um, document. I've yeah. seen those before. So, okay. And I know she did... Uh posted on Facebook, so I don't know if she just got a verbal okay from the winners. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, if she posted it on Facebook, she must have got some kind of permission. Yeah, you would think, what did, what did they need to do to enter it? They had to fill out the entry form, and it, I, I thought in there it said something <clears throat> about they gave permission, but they, they would be asked for, you know, permission to use their address or their pictures, but that they didn't have to give that okay in order to be submitted to into the contest. Hmm. Right, the real issue is, is because we're allowing neighbors and people in the village to nominate other houses, it's not necessarily their, you know, the winner right. out of entry themselves, so. That's so the I'm winner, the if they didn't the enter it themselves, would have to give permission Correct. to oh. use their name and address. Okay, well, that makes sense. So if we want to nominate someone, then we would take the paper to them and ask them to fill it out if they wanted to and then have them submit it or? Well, technically, you could just, you know, walk up to a house, take a photo and uh, submit it. But you would, most cases, you would think they would talk to their neighbor first about it to make sure that, to let them know but you know yeah anybody can nominate anybody okay it's just that we can't okay. we can't as a, we can't publicize it without the permission of the winner okay or winners yeah i can't imagine somebody not wanting to do that but yeah it's just, just another to step to, yeah it's another step just to follow up with it that's all so um have we started anything with the christmas decoration contest yet no, that's why okay. I never contact uh, the village, possibly the latest Wednesday, because I'm going in to have a uh, procedure on my knee tomorrow. So I don't know Ooh. how awake I will be come <laughs> time to be able to call the village. But uh, uh, by Wednesday, I'll contact them and ask them. I'm going to oh. extend, because we usually cut it off around the 12th of December. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking a lot of people will most likely stay more local, so I might extend it to the 17th of December, the entry, that way more people maybe will get in. I was always worried about, you know, you want your sign out so everybody can see that you won the contest mm -hmm. for the actual holiday, but that's still, that's a week before Christmas Eve, so I think the 17th will be okay. I agree. I think I um, yeah. like so people like me, I don't get like spirited till like till after snacks with Santa <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with my own stuff. So I got to get through that before I decorate so, my house. What do we need to do? Because I don't, I'm not sure come January I'm going to remember this. I know Mark had mentioned in the last year we had like a set calendar that was put in the spina column or that we know when the village newsletters are going to come out so that that stuff will already be like people will be aware like a month or two ahead of time um, i don't know how we make sure that we have that in the agenda or remind ourselves come january when we have to sell that stuff up 
Yeah, so what we should consider doing is looking at the calendar and pre-setting those dates to give to Paige and Tabitha so they can put it in the Bless newsletter. You. Thank you. Bless you. Right? I yeah. mean, that's how I see it. Do we, we don't have anything about those in the newsletter now, do we, other than the cornrows? No, because we're always late. Mm -hmm. You know, we have never requested it be in there. Yeah. And then time we think of it, you know, it's, the newsletter's already went out. Right. Well, the spring newsletter will have, we should have sufficient time for. Yeah. Um, the big question will be, <laughs> Well, we have anything. Yeah, well, can we actually, I mean, yeah. what can we actually schedule and do? I guess um, we could set the dates and you always put in parentheses. Yeah. You know. Question. Well, I can't I say what is permitting. I don't know what you say now. COVID, COVID permitting. permitting, pandemic permitting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for the newsletter. I thought I had it in my file next to me, but I don't. I must have it at the office. But um, yes, I, uh, I think we should target that and maybe look at some dates if you want to if you think you might want to share that next year um Lori yeah if you want to continue with that okay. then why don't maybe we can talk about that the next meeting and uh, establish some dates so okay we, I, we need to release the funds for the Yeah, so we'll need to uh, make a motion to release the funds for uh, the Christmas decorating contest. Um, can we roll that into Snacks with Santa or do we have to take a, a separate vote on that, Sherry? I would do um, separate. Okay, okay, so who would like to make a motion to release the funds for the Christmas decorating contest. Miller, release the funds for the Christmas decorating contest. Carol call, I'll second. Roll call. Song break. Yes. Germini. Yes. Miller. Yes. Carico. Yes. Frankovich. Yes. Ingram. Yes. Okay, motion carries for the Christmas decoration contest. So um, do we know what the prices are gonna be for that? We're we gonna do the same for Halloween? I think so, yeah. Unless somebody has ideas. I always just get something, because I figure if you wanna decorate a contest, most likely you're gonna to wanna to add to it. So I always <laughs> make sure it's like a Home Depot or Lowe's, you know. <laughs> I yeah. basically get on years ago when they had the contest and. The winner's like, oh, I'm going to buy all their decorations with my winnings. <laughs> I figure so, that's what they want. You can't really get restaurant gift certificates because yeah. no, yeah. no, it's sad. So, uh, refresh my memory. What is the amounts for the prizes? Uh, fifty for first. Oh, I guess we need to discuss whether we want to do. Um, four. We did four in the past. Well, no, we did three. <laughs> <laughs> so we did first, second, third, and honorable mention. First was fifty. Second was forty. Uh, third was thirty, and honorable mention was twenty-five. Plus, they get a sign that will say, you know. Wolverine Lake, Wolverine Lake Village, 2000 holiday decoration winner. Okay, who? Where does the sign come from? Uh, it's the. I wish I remembered her name. It's a lady that we've used all along. Oh, okay. Who gave me is who the village uses. I'm blank. I, I can't think of her name. I don't want to say the wrong name. <laughs> That's okay. I was just curious. That's okay. And so, um, okay. So I, I mean, I think that sounds good unless you just want to do first, second, and third, but I kind of like the honorable mention. It'll get more people's names out there. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I'm good with that. Okay. 
everybody else have an opinion? Yeah, about that's that? a great idea. Yeah. Works for me. All right, that sounds good. All right, anything else on that, Lori? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Snacks with Santa. I I mean, I'm hoping we can still do this. Um, that was my question. Yeah. You know, I, I need to really ask them. I mean, it's a drive by event. So, um, yeah, because the only real exchange would be if we're going to hand over something to each car, correct? Yeah, so they'll get their little gift. So we'll have an elf running up to the car and socially distanced, you know, handing the gifts out, I guess. Um, is the kids are just like waiting to scan us at the... Yeah, so the idea is we're going to have the furthest uh, gazebo um, east, because that's both Santa Sam and I have looked at that. And he'll be able to set his um, sleigh up inside the gazebo. And then uh, I'm going to put visqueen around it so it's protected because who knows what the weather is going to be. And then he's going to like wave to the kids as they drive by. So I'm going to encourage um, the people coming through to like decorate that side of their car. And Monique has agreed to take pictures um, with Santa like in front of their car or alongside their car. And then she's going to upload it to a website and like a Google Drive or uh -huh. Dropbox or something like that. And they'll be able to go in and just retrieve their own picture. Oh, well, that's okay. nice. So that's the idea with that. So I'm all set with Monique. I'm all set with Lou. He's going to do uh, trunk DJing, kind of like trunk or treat. So he's going to be DJing out of the trunk of his car. Um, I'm going to, I'm still looking for a Grinch. So I'm going to have a Grinch um, in costume, kind of like flying around like in and out of the cars and doing like Grinchy things. So um, I'm going to have that. Who gets to be the Grinch? Anybody who wants to be. <laughs> I'm still looking for a Grinch. I got the, I got the costume ready to order uh, once we release the funds. So and then I was also thinking of possibly uh, a Frosty running around doing Frosty things like throwing snowballs or uh, All right. <laughs> something like that. So, so I really, that's my thought process. So if we have to keep outdoor events to a 25 maximum person, the way I'm looking at it is we can't have more than 25 of us doing something. So, you know, Santa, the elves, um, uh, the Grinch, DJ, I think we'll be well under that. Um, so I'm hoping we're going to be okay, but I'm just going to have to get clarification. I would recommend, yeah, checking with yeah. the village, checking with the chief. Because yeah. uh, that when, in, like, in regards to, like, where we were going to meet for this meeting tonight, for example, there was some discussion so yeah so yeah so i'll find out tomorrow but other than that i mean the wheels are in motion for that mm -hmm. and i'm ready to like pull the plug so um i guess i'll keep you all informed and hopefully I'll, i'm hoping you all will be available and i was thinking mark you would make an awesome great oh thanks that's, that's <laughs> uh, just, yeah what a yeah. choice since yes. we're not going to have a meeting before then, um, will you just contact us with what kind of help yes. from us? Okay. Yes. Yes. I'll be there whenever you need me to do. I'll, I'll be there. Yes. Just yes. Thank you. Have you decided what you're going to give as the gift? Or you know? Yes. So um, I'm, I haven't heard back from Danny Miller, but I want him to make a, a cookie. Oh, yeah. Um, and like, I've got these gifts, these little stuffed animals. So we would wrap the cookie up and well, here's a couple ideas I had. 
when they are, we're going to do two, two time slots. They're either going to come between uh, one and two or two and three. So it keeps the traffic um, down while they're driving by. So there won't be um, a backup. And Paige said that we could get Ellsworth, you know, she's sure that he would help us out with traffic if we needed it. So my vision is maybe as they come in, hand them a chocolate milk and a cookie so they can eat and drink while they're watching the Grinch run around and listen to music and that sort of thing. And when they get up to Santa, then we'll hand them a little stuffed animal. Oh, that's nice. So, that's kind of my thought, unless anybody else has any ideas. I've just been kind of brainstorming it with um, a couple people, so. I think it sounds yeah. great. With a very unique, difficult situation, and you know, it's not, you don't even have electricity at that section. Uh, you're, you're really, you put a lot of great, I mean, you've got photos, you've got music, you've got Santa. You may or may not have a Grinch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's. I, I think it's. It could be a real. I mean, That's your party gift. Very safe. I'm still. I'm not, how did I park? <laughs> uh, I think it sounds like if it can go, it would be a really. I mean, very a nice time. Yeah. For kids and a little something decent. The only um, thought I had, and maybe would like your opinions, is usually we have about 50 kids and about 100, I think we had 115 people <laughs> last year at um, the Richardson Center. So my idea is, do we want to keep it at 50 kids? Because um, I'm still going to charge them, um, you know. We're just charging the kids, kids, correct? Yeah. So $5 a child, do we want to increase the number from 50 to maybe 60? Or, you know, do you think that maybe the drive time might take longer than just running up on Santa's lap? I don't know. Well, no one's getting out of the car, car, correct? Pardon me? No one's getting out of the car, correct? Nobody's going to get out of the car. No, no it's a drive by. Yeah. So oh, what I'm thinking of doing when Monique takes the picture is um, making a huge frame and decorating it and have two elves go on each side of the frame and then kind of like frame the car. Uh. And Sam will be like waving in front of the frame, like social distancing, of course. And that's when they'll snap the picture. So they won't be getting out of the car, but we're going to take two of us will be yeah. running to the frame up and Santa will probably save his thing whatever you know um so I don't know I'm guessing maybe three minutes okay you think that sounds I would say we could probably do that in three minutes oh yeah you think and then you're allowing a two hour time frame for from one to yes. three yeah yeah that's like so, 160 yeah. minutes with some leeway so Right. We could easily do 60 in that time, couldn't we then? And even maybe a little more? 30 an hour? Wow. That's two minutes a what kid. What does the math come out to on that? If you did 30 an hour, that would be, if you did 30, if you did 60 kids, that would be uh, 30 an hour, which would be two minutes a kid. Yeah, two yeah. A, car, I don't know. a vehicle. But it's just like you most likely are going to have two or three in the vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. At least probably a couple, yeah. Um, Monitoring that, are we? I don't know. I think we should. I think we should keep it at fifty. You know, my question would be: is I'm not exactly sure of how the cars are going to drive through. Are we going to have a problem with cars being on like Benstein and causing traffic problems? Well, that's why Ellsworth will have to assist in traffic control. But I mean, still, I mean, if there's people all the way out on Benstein, how are people going to be able to either go northbound or southbound on Benstein? And well, the, the, I think the parking lot's big enough that people could pull in to parking spots and wait. And then, of course, because we're going to use the uh, end, people will just loop around the uh, donut there at the end and come back and leave. And so... And then if we did have an officer or somebody who could just say, okay, you can pull, if there is a that much of a backup, they can just direct the cars that they can then come up and start driving up and things like that. So 
Yeah, and I have the time slot from one to two and two to three. So when they sign up, they're going to be assigned a time slot. So you're not going to have everybody coming at one o'clock. And then, right. are we just going to assume it's going to be on the honorary system? Or are we going to have to check to see? If so I kind of thought about that. Um, so I'm thinking that whoever is like, you know, directing the cars in, so you're directing them into the parking lot, um, we'll ask the name just like you do when you go on a bus trip. So you'll have the chart and then you're checking off, just like you check them in when you're going into the Richardson Center, okay. right? So you're gonna have the chart, you check them in, then they go, give them their cookie and their hot, their uh, and chocolate. Kind of a leeway is let's say, you know, um, you have two kids in the car and, you know, like a, and a friend comes over and they want the third child to come. Is there a way to handle that? I mean, I can just see someone say, oh, come on, what's one more child in the car? Well, we've run into that occasionally um, at the Richardson Center, but it doesn't really seem to be a problem. If, if well, we, have, we do. We do. If we have a couple like slip ins. I mean, we'll have extra for them, okay. right. or if they come in, and you know, for sure, we'll have extra cookies. Okay. So you know what? They might get a cookie, but they're not going to get a toy. You know that sort of thing. All right. Just, I was just kind of curious. Right, yeah, we've kind of thought, we, we do kind of run into that occasionally, but it's not, it might be a couple, it's not a lot. All right, thank so, you. But, that, but you, yeah, and, and who knows, because it's a drive-by event, maybe you will get people like, but I think um, Paige will do a good job on the flyer with that okay. when it goes out, but all good concerns. So I think 50, I think we should just keep it at 50. Mm-hmm. I, you know, at least for this first time and just see how it goes, because we may end up doing a drive by Easter Bunny event. Who knows? Yeah. Right, Julia? Uh, right, Julia? Yes. Yes, Julia? yes ma'am. <laughs> I'd much rather us be underwhelmed than overwhelmed. Yes, exactly. So I'm, I'm just going to have her cap it at 50 and that's it. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes, you know. So, all right. So we need to make a motion to release funds for Snacks with Santa. So who would I like make to make a motion? Go ahead, whoever. Miller, I make a motion that we release do funds. the funds for Diane's Santa drive-by. Drive -by. Thank you, Lori. <laughs> I'll second it. Carico. Okay, roll call. Long break. Yes. Jeremini. Yes. Miller. Yes, ma'am. Jericho. Yes. Brinkovich. Yes. Ingram. Yes. Okay. Do you have anybody to be elves? No, I need some elves. Because uh, uh, I got roped in. I won't be the elf with the wealth, but I got roped in at church to be the elf with the wealth during our videotaping. So I do have an elf costume. Ooh. Hopefully it's warm. Because it's very thin. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> of course, I guess an elf would wear a coat anyway, right? <laughs> yes, you're going to have to dress in layers for sure. Yes. And I'm not a I'm not a cold weather fan, but um, I'll be dressing in many layers. <laughs> and if, if anybody wants to buy a costume, uh, well, it's not really a costume on Amazon. They have family PJs that are the elf. You oh. can select your size. That's oh, I got it. Oh, that's cute. Okay. All right. Motion carried for that. And um, we'll move along with our snacks with Santa. Now we've got letters to Santa. Um, so uh, one of my neighbors, she loves writing letters as she as if she's Santa. So I think we're still okay with that, unless somebody else wants to come up has a different idea for it. Are we also going to have uh, the mail at 
the Santa drive-by so that the kids can drop off their letter or I know we uh, I think I think that's a good idea uh, we can just bring it um maybe they can put the letter in the box as they're exiting when they make that turn or maybe they can drop it off I think it'd be better for them to drop it off after they see Santa, don't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's picture them seeing Santa going around the cul-de-sac and then there's the mailbox, they drop it off and then they leave. So I think that's a good idea. I think we should incorporate mm -hmm. that into the drive-by. And then, um, so, they're all set for like writing letters to Santa. So they're good with that. So I say we do it and set the dates. Um, I say we put out, don't you think right after Thanksgiving, right? When is Thanksgiving is the 26th? Yes. So do you want to just say uh, they can set it out like on the 27th? Starting. The village, or I guess we, the village doesn't need to be open, right? Yes, because they'll put they'll put the mailbox out. Are they open on the Friday after Thanksgiving? Um, I don't know. I don't know either. I'll find out. Oh. But I'll just I'll get the dates and have Paige send something out, and then uh, I'll find out when she can do it. All right. So a chairperson, oh, I can, close. I close can, on a Friday. are Just they? Yeah. So how about that Monday then? We'll have them start that Monday, the 30th. Good? That works. Good. Okay. So Monday, the 30th to, uh, let's see, I'm going to need probably three days to get the mail, right? So to the 20, how about till the 21st? 21, all right. So letters will, can be dropped off from 12, 11.30 to 12.21. Okay, all right, got that. All righty, moving along, where are we? What's the date for that, the 12th? The uh, drive by Santa. Oh, it's the yeah, fifth or twelfth. That's the twelfth. Okay. The twelfth, December twelfth. And that way, Lori can be there. Yeah. Right. In yeah. her elf suit. In her elf suit. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> didn't say anything about having an elf suit. You're committed now, girl. <laughs> So the merrier decoration, the merrier the outfit, the better it is, right? Yep. Yeah, okay, so we got that done. Okay, Amenia Park update. Mark, or who's working on that? Uh, a few of us are. Um, not a lot to update right now. Uh, I do have some emails out about a couple of questions and things like that that we're pursuing. And then, of course, Julia has been doing some of the work uh, on the hostas and stuff. And uh, so there will be some fresh and freshening up there next year as well for that portion. Um, there may be a fence going up by uh, one of the neighbors might be putting up a fence. Oh. So that would be interesting and helpful if that's the case, if I understood that correctly. So we'll see, but yeah, we're working on a few things. And of course it is in the master plan, the new plan that we just approved, so. Okay. Who, uh, who what neighbor is talking about putting a fence up? Do you know? I do not know for sure. Oh, okay. But it was a byproduct of our last council meeting and uh, an ordinance that was passed. Oh, okay. Regarding heights of fences. Mm -hmm. um, were they concerned about having the park next to them? Do you know? or There were, I mean, when, they, when the park was first put in, there was some uh, pushback from the, the immediate neighbors and things. And... Um, current ordinance would not have allowed them to put up a fence. Oh. Uh, so uh, because it's public pri public land versus private and things like that. So one of the ordinances that we passed in the last meeting uh, takes care of that. So 
And that was specifically in regards, that was something yeah. that was specifically cited by, uh, by uh, Brian at the last meeting as one of the reasons why that was put in place. Mm. Mark, when, when we were there, what is it our, maybe Molly, you remember, on that, if you're looking at the park, so it'd be the east side of the park, was there, was that a natural tree line or, or bushes there, or was that a fence? There is some tree line. On that there was side. something there that delineated his property. Yeah, yeah there are some trees and there. I thought he had a dog or something. He so does, that's... yeah, that one does. There, but there, yeah, there were some, I think there were arborvitaes or something there. Okay. there. Okay. But it doesn't run all the way up okay. or across. So I'm not sure which neighbor specifically, but either way, it's, I mean, it would be good to get some, whether by us or by them, to have some fences, I think would be good just to give them a little more privacy and and kind of, you know, that way kids aren't, or anybody isn't mm -hmm. walking on their property and stuff to get there. And so yeah. everybody can be happy with a park being there. Right, right. Yeah. Molly, is it okay if I still do that butterfly garden there too? I didn't know if that was going to be in any of your guys' plans. I yeah, I don't, are we moving yeah. that? No, yeah. I was going to keep it there. That's why I didn't know if you were going to. I didn't do anything because I didn't know. I don't think so. I don't think right now. I mean, there's there's all kinds of possibilities, but because the the I mean, we could always move the garden if we needed. But as of right now, it's you know, it's it's not hurting anything. And okay. uh, so yeah. unless you know, I mean, yeah, I think it's fine where it is for now. And then okay, so I'll yeah. plan on the butterfly garden in the spring too. Then that sounds good. Perfect. Yeah. Everybody's been loving those butterfly gardens. Yes, there's going to be three of them. There's one over on Terry. Claire Miller's going to be one, and Amenia is going to be one. And then, if anybody wants any other places, I've got milkweed pod seeds and cold. I don't know what the name of the word is, but they're in between paper towels, damp paper towels in the ice box hydrator, getting ready to bring out in the spring. Oh, so we can have a lot awesome. more. In general, I think it would be good to have more. I mean, milkweed's a native plant. It's mm -hmm. very good for the ecosystem and yep. for butterflies and other creatures that feed off of it. It's a good one to have. So mm -hmm. I think it'd be great to have more. And we have a lot of space. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay, anything else on Amenia Park? Is that? Nope. Clara Miller Park Master Plan update. Uh, the 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 uh, Benstein pathway has been put in, so that was done. And then also in regards, to, and that's that extends up. It stops at the Dairy Twist. Uh, that was done about two weeks ago, and now there is a path in front of the park as well. Um, and then the bathroom uh, upgrade. They have. Put in the block around the uh, behind the uh, the bathrooms um, because they did not need to bring in sand to uh, level it. They actually added uh, a little height, so we are going to have a little bit of a higher uh, ceiling. So we'll have a little more space in there. Yay. And they do have the trusses in. I don't know if they installed them today, but they have them. In. No, they're laying in the. Okay, they're they're, in the they're sitting in the. I saw them on Friday, lot. and I wasn't sure if they were going to get to them today or not. Yeah. Um, and those yeah, should be yeah. all done and they should have, it should be sealed up or, you know, before the winter hits. Um, and then we'll see where they go on the rest of that. Yeah, it looks good. I walked it this afternoon. It looks nice. Yeah, it'll be nice once it's all in there. Yeah, I like all the windows that they're putting in there too. That'll yeah, add a lot of light in yeah, there. I, I was thinking, I like that they're higher up too. And yeah. Works out well, because chances are we won't block them with the, our random stuff. Yeah, and exactly. A little natural oh light gosh. in there, which will be good. Yeah. And, uh, and then where they, they're putting the, um, they did have to move where they're going to put the water fountain. Uh, so that's going to be in the front of the building because there's just, we, we with the roll-up door and then the, the roll-up concession door and the roll-up door itself, there just wasn't sufficient space, so. And they, because now that we'll have another, is the entrance on the pavilion side? Yes. Or is it, oh, okay. Everything is facing to the pavilion. Okay, because I was thinking, never mind. I was worrying about security. Oh, okay. That was facing south. You know, like you couldn't see it from the parking lot. That's what I was wondering about. 
whatever decided about cameras, but I guess that's in the future. Yeah. Yeah, no cameras. All right. Thank you, Mark. Okay, liaison report. So planning commission, uh, we don't have anybody here. Uh, council liaison. All right. Hey, Marky. Hey. So, hey. Hey, Mark. Hey, you guys Mark. Are there, we had an election and uh, everything else. And so because of the current village charter, we had to meet on the Monday after the election at 7.30 all weird things for us, but uh, at that Bless meeting you. we did we did board appointments. We, did, Bless we, you. we, we uh, got an update about uh, the pathway and stuff and approved payment for that, that was installed. And uh, we passed a few ordinances, mostly about fences and then about uh, allowing commercial vehicles to park in, in their driveways and stuff, even if they're not a pickup, but it was within certain reason. Uh, mainly it was because, you know, a lot of more folks are working from home now and stuff too. So that was about all we did. So it was not a particularly busy meeting with a lot of stuff, but we did make all our appointments and everything else. So uh, in terms of parks and rec related things, I am liaison for our board and I am going to continue on as well for um, veterans. And I'm also staying on beautification and everything else. And then uh, we have a couple of committees that are about pathways, one's for bikes and one's for just pathways. Uh, they haven't met in years, but I'm on those too. So <laughs> if they ever meet, I think Diane, I think you're on a call. I think you're on them too. I know. Um, you know what? They cut and I, I like inquired about that. And they, every time I inquired about it, they goes, oh, we're not doing anything with that. <laughs> like, yeah, oh, I mean, we, we were talking about it at the meeting and it was, you know, with the, with the uh, airline trail and everything else yes. going on, it might be time to, and Dave Dumont's also on um, the pathway committee. He's the chair, in fact. Um, that it might be time to kind of have another meeting about that and start and talking not just about our own area, but broadly, how do we connect to yes. our, our neighbors uh, more effectively? Because so much has changed in terms of paths and everything else in the past several years. So, and it's going to even change more with this COVID Absolutely. stuff. There, yeah, so yeah. I agree. I think the timing is perfect for that. So, yes. So we'll have to keep. Keep us informed on that. I might jump in on that and kind of hang out. Um, okay, Mark. So commerce, parks, and recreation. Is Linda still like with us on that? She is for now. Um, okay. I'm not sure how long she's going to stay on there, but she is for now. And I did let her know about the disc golf. And she said she was going to let them know. And that the most likely route is they may want to, if they decide to continue with it, they would perform, put together some kind of a committee that would include both Commerce and Wolverine Lake to uh, get into more details about whether or not that is a, a viable thing to do to have the disc golf. So do we know, does Linda attend their meetings over there? Yeah. They do she just meetings. doesn't give us really any kind of feedback um, other only, than- Yeah, only if it's Wolverine Lake relevant. Got it. I've read a few of their minutes and they're very much involved in talking about uh, their, they, they have, you know, people who rent their fields and they, they're talking with them directly because their, their, their structure is so different from ours. Yeah. And I, I mean, I guess something that would fit here. I don't know if you guys saw in the news, there was a, like a, the, like a landscapers day of volunteering and they went over to um, uh, Scarlet's park and, uh, did all kinds of uh, like mulching and landscaping. They put in some benches, and stuff like that. Ah. Ron from uh, Veterans Memorial was actually there helping out and everything else. They planted some trees. So yeah, it was really cool uh, seeing it. On, oh. I haven't gotten over to the park since they did the work, but apparently, you know, it's really given it a nice, you know, finishing kind of touch to it and everything. What are they doing for Santa this year? Do you know? I do not. What are you doing for yeah, they usually have it at the Briars yeah. Farm. Yeah, I think like all of us, they're kind of yeah. Right. Out. Okay, comments from the board members. Wait, I missed something. Comments from the public. We don't have any public. Says commerce. Oh, oh, never mind. Yeah. Right. And comments. 
<laughs> so comments from any board members? Lori? Uh, congratulations, Mark. Yep, and great. And great. Oh, gosh, I didn't say the word. Congratulations, Julia, for becoming our new president. Thank you. You guys look happy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you. Julia, what would you like to say? <laughs> Thank you very much for the honor of being able to be with you guys again. Um, it means a lot to me. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving. Diane, whatever you need, I can be there. I will be there for the 12th and however matter. Um, can I give her an outfit? I could look be the Grinch because I have the lower rounded bottoms already. <laughs> <laughs> um, mine would be a natural rounded bottom <laughs> with the belly. <laughs> oh, that's um, cute. Thank you. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Look forward to seeing y'all at the Christmas and then starting the new year off. Kathy? Uh, again, congratulations to Mark and to Julia. Um, I'm really looking forward to working this year with the snacks with Santa. I think it'll be fun. Yes. I hope we have Great. a little snow that day and actually make it really interesting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and happy Thanksgiving to all. Thank you. Miss Molly, good golly, Miss Molly. <laughs> yeah. I always wanted to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never heard it before either, Day. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, right. <laughs> um, so, uh, just echoing congratulations to Mark and Julia. And um, thank you to Dave for being such a great liaison the past couple of years. I mean, he's been on oh, yeah. uh, liaison since I've been on the board. And it's just a really nice, you know, voice on the council and um yeah happy thanksgiving looking forward to uh our december event and marky uh thank you guys uh i'm glad to be back i was it was i had that four days of sweet freedom <laughs> or so before i got a point to do a, become liaison and i'm excited to be a part of it in this uh role and uh Hopefully, I mean, I'll continue to work on things with you guys and do everything else, and then hopefully uh, work with getting whatever we need from council. And uh, I would like to echo Molly in saying um, thank you to Dave. And I know for a fact that he is 100% in support of us and behind us. And if we need anything, we can also talk to him, and he's willing to help us with anything. And uh, congratulations, Julia, and uh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you have questions, I can probably help answer them. And then uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Thank you. And I would say um, thanks, everybody, for putting up with me. And Julia, thank you for uh, accepting the position because you are a lifesaver for me. And uh, Mark, we're going to miss you tremendously as, uh, as uh, head of council or parks, but you're going to be with us. So I'm loving that. Yes. Yeah. And Dave, I mean, God, I would like to do something to thank him for his past. I don't know if there's something uh, that we can think about for that, but I'm going to put that on the, on the front burner here and kind of come up with something That's a good uh, idea. as a way of yeah. thanking him. Yeah. Um, so, and happy Thanksgiving to everybody and what the, what else adjournment okay we need to schedule the next meeting which will be we won't have it in december so that will be january the 11th is that correct 18th or i'm sorry 18th third yeah so january 18th will be our next meeting that is martin luther king's day is that a problem uh yeah. I don't remember what we did last year. I think we pushed it to the didn't we do it on Tuesday? I think so. I'm trying to think about it. No, I know. think we I, I think we ended up having it on MLK. Because that was my first meeting. I think. Did we have it? We can move it. You guys you guys have had it a couple times on Mount Martin Luther King Day. Have we? So 
Yeah, it's up to you okay, whether you want it. Back I have up. no problem with it. I just want notice when I looked in the calendar here that it said that. So yeah, and okay. sometimes I'm not sure if the the township. A lot of times the municipalities are closed, so I don't know if that makes a difference either. We're open, so the village doesn't uh, formally recognize it currently. So okay, well then let's just keep it on the 18th. That'll be easier. We'll have to rec we will and then in January we'll at the January meeting we'll reschedule the February meeting because that does fall on a uh, recognized holiday. So oh it does? Yeah, it falls on President's Day usually oh, because okay. it's the third Monday. So we'll All do right. that in January. Okay, that sounds good. All right. All righty. I think having said all that, we do we have a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn from Carico. Second long break. Roll call. Long break. Yes. Jeremini. Yes. Miller. Yes. Kirko. Yes. Breakovich. Yes. Ingram. Yes. Okay, good night.